Hey, what is going on guys? Vexane here for another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to use the Twixter plugin. This is a plugin which you will need to install separately from Vegas. It's not native to Vegas. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below in the comments. You can just follow that link. It should take you to my Selfie store. And from there, just download this, install it. Very straightforward. So once you've installed this, we'll go back into Vegas and I'll show you how to use it. Now, if you don't already know what Twixter actually does, it's a simple plugin that allows you to slow down clips in Vegas to very low frame rates and still have them smooth. So as you can see on the screen now, I've got some 30 FPS clip examples. And when we slow them down to 50, 20, even 10%, that'll end up being very choppy because there just isn't enough frames in that footage to display it at that speed smoothly. So essentially what Twixter does is it makes up those frames. So if we say a 30 FPS clip, we reduce it down to 50%, every second frame will be repeating. So what Twixter does is it makes up those second frames and just make sure you've got a nice smooth full 30 FPS clip left. So this might all sound a bit complicated at first, but if we jump into Vegas, I'll show you how to use this and it is actually quite simple. Okay, so here we are, we're in Vegas. I've got my clip, which I'm just gonna drag onto the timeline. Now, what I'm gonna show you here, if I go to the properties, this is a 30 FPS clip. Now, as I mentioned earlier, 30 FPS clips are the most troublesome clips to use when editing because obviously any sort of slow motion on them and they'll end up being choppy because anything below about 24 FPS and just doesn't look right. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to slow this clip down to 50%, which will be 15 frames per second and still keep that smooth. So we've got it in our timeline. The first thing we're going to do is just go up to effects and we're going to put Twixter on this clip. So I'm going to go right to the end, Twixter Pro and click OK. As I mentioned earlier, you will need to install this clip separately. It's not native to Vegas. So there's a whole bunch of options here, but there's actually only a few we need to change. So the speed, this is the speed that our clip is at. We're just gonna leave this for now. We'll come back to it in a second. Frame, leave this. Track quality, obviously you want this at best. BG Motion Sense, I like to start with this at 80, but we may need to come back to it later and just tweak it. Image preparation, by default, I just set this to none. What we can do later is we can test, we'll enable this, see if it looks better. If it does, we'll leave it, otherwise we'll go back to none. So sort of just a trial and error setting. Cache optical flow, leave that. Frame interpretation, leave that on blend. Warping, set that to inverse. And smart blend, enable that. Once we've set all that, we can just close this for now. So what we've got here is my clip. I play this through here. It's simply a car, comes across the hill, lands, and then crashes. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna slow-mo this car while it's in the air. Now, the reason I picked this clip is because this is a pretty good clip for Twixter. You've got a clear object that's moving and a clear background and a nice sharp horizon. If you have a clip, like let's say we go to this part and you've got the truck and it's crossing over a bunch of objects, often what Twixter will do is it'll get a bit mixed up and it'll start warping the truck in with the hill or maybe this shack here and it just won't look very good. So I'm gonna limit this effect to regions where the car is clearly in the sky. So I'm gonna start my slow motion just about there, go back to effects, and what I'm gonna do is click on speed and click this animate button here. And then you wanna go and if you've got this button down here checked, sync cursor to media timeline, wherever your cursor is down here, which is obviously what your preview is showing, should line up with this. You always wanna enable that when keyframing in Vegas. So just check that there. Once we've done that, double click, and that'll put a keyframe where we want the slow motion to start. So what I'm gonna do is actually move this keyframe over, go up here and set this to 50, and that will give us a bit of a ramp down to 50. Then we're gonna head to where we want it to stop. So obviously I'm gonna stop it before it starts hitting this horizon because that'll just end up a bit messy. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna keep it in the sky. Actually, if I just pause it here for a second, this is a good example where this uh, telephone tower is getting pulled towards the car because Twixer can't quite differentiate the two objects. So it just ends up a bit messy. So right about there, we'll stop it, double click, move over a bit more, and then we'll set this back to 100. What I'm actually gonna do, oops, put this here, and that should be pretty good. So essentially what we've got here is 100% speed, ramps down to 50, ramps back up. And to make these transitions a bit smoother, right click on your keyframes, set these to smooth, and then down here, set these to fast. And that's pretty much it, that is your keyframing done. So if we close this and we go back here, we play this through, car ramps up, slow motion, and it crashes. But what you may notice is even after Twixter has gone back to 100%, the effect shouldn't be needed anymore. 
you may still notice some artifacting and some blending where Twixter thinks it needs to do something, but it actually doesn't. And that just looks very messy, obviously. So what we're gonna to do to overcome this, to fix it basically, is we're gonna go and just render this clip out. So we're gonna go File, Render As, MP4, 1080p, and obviously we're using 30 FPS for this example. And then I'm gonna put this on Project Location and click Render. Now, like I said, we need to cut that bit out that I just showed you. So this will obviously do that. But the other thing rendering it like this does is just frees up your timeline. You will notice that Twixter is a very intensive effect and it will take a long time to render and it'll also really clog up your preview window. I found on my older PC, it would often actually crash Vegas. So it just is a very intensive clip like that. So it basically just allows us to keep our playback smooth and ensure we have no hitching in Vegas. Okay, so here we are, our clip is done. So what we're gonna do is open the folder and we're just gonna drag that render in. And then what we're gonna do is put this on our timeline. So what we can do is, obviously I'll just delete this audio, hide this second clip, we don't really need it anymore. And what we're gonna do is go to where our slow motion was. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this, enable the other one. And what we're gonna do is go to where the slow motion starts. So that's just about here on that frame. And then we'll go to that and put a marker. And then we'll go to where it ends and we'll put a marker there. And then what we can do is we can close this, go back to this first one, go back to our rendered version and essentially just crop it to there. So what this is, is this is the section of the clip that we've actually used Twixter on. This is the slow motion section. And by just removing the extra parts, we've removed those parts that were still running at 100% speed, yet Twixter, I'm not sure why it does this, but it still likes to meddle with the clips. So we've just cut that out. Now what we're gonna do is right click and click insert video track, move this up one, and then we get our base clip with no edits. Now what we, what we should see is that these frames here on the left line up pretty well, and that just runs in like that. So we can click here, press S to snip, line that up. But then here what we'll find is it doesn't line up at all. If we run this back here, there'll be a huge jump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this clip, lower it to about 50%, and then move this one over until we see the two of them line up. So just about there, that looks pretty perfect. Trim this, put this back up to 100% opacity, drag this up here, and if we move across, there should be a smooth transition between our twixted clip, which we rendered, and our base clip. Now, if we just delete this down here, delete these layers, that is pretty much it. That is your clip. You've got 100% speed, twixted in the middle, back to 100% speed. If we play this back here from the beginning, we can see that in action. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is the Twixter effect. That's all it takes to get some really smooth slow motion clips in Sony Vegas. So if you have enjoyed this tour, remember to leave a like down below. That's always really appreciated. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll try to get back to you. And as always, if you see someone else down there with a problem and you have the answer for them, please help them out. So that is about all. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.